What's up, everybody? This is Ty from Super Metal World, and I'm going to be reacting to Wallflower by Ginger today. Um, this is the first time I haven't seen it yet, so here we go. We're doing this for the first time together. Well, maybe you've seen it before, but we're doing it together in terms of me reacting to it. So let's get right to it. Here we go. Okay, so fairly obvious right away. Of course, I'm noticing a lot of red, that like that black and white, and we got Tatiana stepping into frame. Uh, Tatiana's awesome, of course, uh, for those of you who are fans of Ginger, or if you're just uh, checking them out for the first time, uh, just adjusting my mic. Hope, hopefully that's at a better level now. Um, so awesome. Uh, I, I love the imagery so far. <laughs> already as we get that baseline coming in we've got a little nike sponsorship going on here oh yeah look at that those look pretty sick though okay let's get back to it transition there it seems like she came from the outside and things were kind of you know black and white other than the red um, but now that she's kind of like in her comfort zone at home there's a lot of color so that that's an interesting contrast I noticed right away the other thing I noticed is that um, this is giving me some Pisces uh, vibes and uh, Pisces is a, a video that so many people have reacted to uh, over the years and and for good reason so I'm, I'm kind of getting those vibes right away that subdued uh, sound and a little funky, a little uh, melancholic acoustic action going on. So, anyway. melody uh, going on there and there's a few uh, uh, parts where I, I, I don't know if the the melody was doubled but there may have been a little harmony within there too uh, that's the awesome thing about Tatiana is that she's such a great singer so um, obviously that's getting showcased a lot right here starting to get a fuller picture now so I don't know if you've read the interviews of Tatiana but and um, I've actually had her on the show before I interviewed her uh, I don't know it was, it's been like a couple years now and she had admitted to me that she's an introvert and she's very reserved individual and and now she's kind of thrust on to the world's stage or at least the metal world stage and I would say she's crossed over just with her ability to sing and scream uh, she's definitely got attention from people who aren't metalheads, but it's got to be quite um, a change in her preference level because now she's kind of uh, this female lead singer on this really hot metal band. And, and being as we just know how the media is with having like a female um, singer in a metal band and how that can be viewed through the media, how that can be viewed through... Uh, the fans and everything like that. But not only that whole thing, they also got this really successful band that's making really great music. It's not just solely 
because uh, it's a female fronted band they have the the chops to back it up but anyway um her being an introvert uh it's got to be so much of a difference to now be in front of everybody and having to pour yourself out for everybody um because introverts gain that energy by being alone uh and can lose the energy with being social quite quickly so it's got to be very exhausting for her um so I'm, I'm seeing that theme and now you know thinking of the, the what wallflower means being a wallflower is just sitting on the wall uh, observing things so somebody in conversation uh, you know if there's a group of people the wallflower is the one that it's not saying much but just observing so anyway sorry I'm done blabbing <laughs> shown a lot with the imagery she's back outside again she's got people chasing after her maybe like the media or the fans a representation of that um, and things are in black and white again riff um it's just it's very like it's a headbanger you know it doesn't want, make me want to mosh so much right away but it just really makes me want to like sit in the pocket and headbang to it so sick riff and i don't really wish for really wish for you Whoa! there it is that million dollar scream <laughs> of the song a lot of things are happening um in this particular uh, music video obviously tatiana's like had enough now and she's she's breaking out uh or, or lashing back um against this lifestyle that she you know didn't choose or didn't expect to have and we're getting a, a mix between the black and white and the color and she's pulling out like <laughs> they're not uzis but like some submachine guns or machine guns whatever i don't i don't know guns She's pulling out some badass weaponry, and we got, like, a really awesome breakdown happening right now uh, with, of course, her screaming layered over it. Turning molehills into mountains, I feel the pressure building. Should I just go on or jump over the wall and say, are running low so I, th I think I got this spot on I know it's not that hard I'm, I'm not like pretending to be a genius but I think this is what this is about um, she's getting worn out from all the you know being in front of uh, people and it almost seemed like she was like uh, comparing that to like the lockdown like her lockdown is being around a lot of people whereas like our lockdown or like you know people who are maybe more extroverted their lockdown would be like more that pandemic lockdown where you're like isolated but she wants that. She doesn't want to be around all the people. I don't know. That's just a connection. I don't even know if I'm right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm doing my best here, but let's let's keep listening. This is probably one of the I, I think I may have said this already, but this is one of the best breakdowns I have heard by them. This is the end or not, but um, we'll proceed for a little bit longer. Awesome. Um, yeah, that that was sick. That was. Um, I've been really excited uh, for this upcoming Ginger album. They get a lot of crap, but they're a really good band, um, and these three singles they've released have been just killer. Vortex, the end of Vortex, Mwah. the end of Wallflower. Mwah. Um, I haven't listened as much to the other one. Can't remember the name of it. You guys can tell me in the comments. Um, but, but I remember liking it, just not as much as, as Vortex and now Wallflower. This is my favorite of the three. Um, Chef's Kiss. It's Ginger, guys. I'm a big Ginger fan. Stop giving them shit. They're a really good band. Um, so anyway, thanks for checking it out, guys. Uh, hit subscribe if you like. Uh, you don't have to. This is Super Metal World. My name's Ty. We'll see you in the next one.